this question is gonna be a little spicy, fellas. So I hope your homies is watching, but also not watching. You feel me? Oh, Lord. Never have I ever had a crush on my on my boy's girl. Or you thought she was fine. Ooh. <laughs> man, my, see, my boys be picking buckets, man. So it's like, there was nothing to, there was nothing to crush on because it's like, I don't fuck with Shrek characters. <laughs> 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 so it's like, you can't bring yeah. a four, you can't bring a four to my husband and think I'm going to be like, oh man, that's a deep right there. I want shorty six feet away from me like she got COVID, son. Oh man, so we're gonna get this thing rolling, man. And the first question I want to ask is never have I ever cheated on someone before. <laughs> man, y'all screwed. I've never been in a relationship in my life. I've never personally cheated on anybody. So you know I, that's not me. I'll cheat. So but come on. on. We need the answers, fellas. Where we at? It, 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 what, what can be said? I can't even see it. Oh, come on. Yeah, no. <laughs> it says on, yeah. I guess, since the camera flipped I, it. I was 17. Her sister was looking good. I, listen, I was young, okay? <laughs> what, about, what about you, Olivia? No. Okay, cool. All right, bet. See, look, y'all, yeah, look, don't be secretive now, fellas. Don't child. be secretive now. This is what all coming out. This is all coming out. Oh wait, actually I might have. Oh. <laughs> wait, what? I was in a very abusive relationship for a very long time, so it's very possible I How cheated long? on You're them. Only 14. How long? <laughs> <laughs> Almost a year. I have long relationships. My current boyfriend, we dated for like six months. Alright, next question then. Never have I ever cheated. In a tournament. The oh, tournaments man. I played in, they had checked that stuff. If somebody even thinks they're cheating, like Midnight can vouch like with like Boom TV and stuff. If you've done a tournament Boom TV, if like they think you're cheating, they will literally force you to share a screen your task manager to make sure that you're not cheating. No, they are in intense with that stuff. So I played in tournaments with cheaters. <laughs> but okay. I personally I personally <laughs> I personally never cheated myself in any sort of tournament. I ain't never done no mess like that. I got integrity. Yeah, I Dude, can't man, say I always it. felt that was important thing. I can't say I've never cheated in a tournament. The only thing I could even think of that I've used cheats on is like I, like Gary's mod Dark RP back in the day. I used to grind that shit. <laughs> this question is gonna be a little spicy, fellas. So I hope your homies is watching but also not watching you feel me oh lord Jesus. never have i ever had a crush on my on my boy's girl or you thought she was fine Ooh. <laughs> man, my, see, my boys be picking buckets man so it's like there was nothing to there was nothing to crush on because it's like i don't fuck with shrek characters <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you can't bring yeah. a four you can't bring a four to my husband and think i'm gonna be like oh man that's the heat right there. I want shorty six feet away from me like she got COVID. Any of your homies is watching, bro? I'm sorry, dog. He called all your girls ugly. There's been a couple. There's been a couple. He <laughs> said a couple. He was like, dang. I wish I could have her. Dang, I man, look. Like, man, he don't deserve her. I'm a throw under the bus for it. Not Monday. necessarily like like envying it, like wanting to take her from him, but more of just like you got you got pretty lucky there. I think, um, you know, there's been times where I have crushed, but at the same time, there's no, like, explicit one that pops out. I'm, I'm not going to say no to that, but okay. at the same time, I don't think I can say yes at the same time. Okay, cool, cool. For me, I can confidently say I have, and it's ironic, because it was, like, one of my best friends and they were dating this person and th this person i thought was like really cute and i definitely had a crush on them and um eventually they broke up and that person's my current boyfriend <laughs> this is only that's what i'm talking head. about yeah. Slid you waited your turn that's, a, that's what i'm talking okay, about no. patience is a virtue and as a young man exactly. you already got patience like that you're gonna win Never have I ever gotten in a fight. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So at 28 years old, I'm only sitting at five four. Laugh if you want. Um. Nothing wrong with that. When I was in seventh grade, there was this kid that was taller than me, and he always used to like poke me in my fucking forehead, right? And I told him, laugh. I said, if you poke me in my forehead one more time, I'm gonna punch you dead in your mouth. He went for the forehead again, and I socked him right in his mouth. You know, that's all I remember. I don't know if I won, lost. Um, none of my eyes was black or nothing. But uh, I definitely got my head hit in, I tell you that. He was okay. bleeding for both, so. <laughs> Kimby, midnight. I need to hear it, dog. Um, so, <laughs> back at, so, yeah, no. So, I'm not really the fighting type because, like, I, pl- I like, I'd rather play mind games with you and, like, screw you up Ooh, mentally and physically. But, but no, no, no. So there's one thing you don't mess with, and that's my sister. My sister is four years older than me, but she's like two foot, two feet shorter, two feet shorter than me. And when I was, when I was, when I was in a sixth, seventh or eighth, it was a middle school year. Uh, and she was a, I think it was junior and I was in seventh grade. One of the seniors was bullying her i went up and i just socked him in the balls like just straight up <laughs> socked him in the balls and we both so why was the nuts the first thing you touched because you don't you don't you don't you don't bully or touch my sister ever he got out of school suspension for i think like a week yeah and i got and Ooh, i and i got a detention and i got a detention oh, yeah. so, you, it's worth it. so now did you win but you got the you got off too yeah, yeah <laughs> i mean i made it very I made it very explicitly clear that you know there's one thing you don't mess with and that's my family and especially my sister. <laughs> Midnight sister, if you watching this, hey, welcome to the hey, Sixth Family, you, man. <laughs> love love you, you, and look, thank you for having a great brother, man. It's freaking great. And hey. I don't know if I'd <laughs> consider it a fight, but I was at the nearby college for uh their like they have this big thing for St. Patrick's Day and I was trying to get some content so I was doing interviews with people and I guess one of them didn't like the question I asked so he shoved me and uh, I wasn't trying to fight him or anything because I was just trying to get content so I was like hey calm down and then he shoved me again so all that happened was I just picked him up and slammed him I live it come on now dog have you ever been in a fight a couple Yo, why did every question I asked you is got you got the deepest story? <laughs> <laughs> there's there's um there's two. God damn. Um, um person I had a pencil in my back pocket. Person kept trying to grab my pencil. I said stop grabbing my pencil, I kept on walking. And person grabbed my pencil again, so I like flipped around, punched him right in the face. Right as a teacher came around the corner, <laughs> he tried to be friends with me after that. I was like, yeah, I know, I punched you in the face hard. A real spicy question for y'all fellas is we gonna see about your romantic capabilities. Oh, so, shoot. never have I ever fumbled the first date. Oh, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm out of this because I, like I said, I've never been in a relationship. You've never been on one date. Midnight, one date, one date, looks one date, just one. You ain't never been on one date. I haven't been on a date either. Ladies, if you watch this, this is a very attractive man right here with glasses, with the back room. And, look at and, he's cool. and he DJ, and he DJ and he's for cool. a living, so let's get Come on now, like, yo, bag this. Hey, yo, hey, you fumble, you fumble the first date, homie Kim? Come on now. Honestly, I'm a very date. quiet person around people I'm not super comfortable being around, so anytime it's gotten to that point, no. I'm actually, once we go on a date, I'm pretty confident that that uh, we're fine after that. Like, I don't, once we go on a date, then I'm like, alright, we're fine. Because then I open up a little bit. It's mainly before going on a date with them that okay. I feel like I've fumbled. Okay. I, I, I already know what you about to say. Go ahead and give it to me, Ice. Go ahead and give it to me, dog. Because I already know what about to Come on, dog. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I definitely fumbled my first date. It was when I was 16. And, um, bro, I walked up to the senior chick, right? I was a, I was a sophomore, I was a junior in high school. 
and I walked up to the senior chick that was just so I'm talking about she had it all back then. You know what I'm saying? And she was she was all that in the back. Shit, I'm trying to tell you, had my dad, he was stupid. And I walked up to her, right? I caught her at her locker, you feel me? And she had some of the new J's on. And uh, you know I complimented on the shoes shit, you know. And I asked her if she wanted to go to a um movie with your boy, you know what I'm saying? Catch some dinner after. I was, she was like, she was like, yeah. She was like, yeah, what time? I didn't think she was going to say yes, so I didn't have a response. <laughs> Immediately in my head, I'm like, bro, number one, you a sophomore, she a senior, she older than you, you a flop. So why are you even talking to her, bro? So the fact that she was like, yeah, I'd love that. Uh, my brain was like, <laughs> like, I didn't have shit after that. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, you know what I'm saying? I invited her out and everything. We went to the we went to the movie. Um, I actually ended up cooking for her. You know what I'm saying? I made a, I made a couple steaks for her at the house, but I burnt them bitches, bro. And it just I didn't do it. I fumbled the complete package. Fellas, um, we're gonna wrap this up, man. Um, if y'all made it this far in the video, appreciate you guys a lot. I said a lot. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on this post notification, man. I want y'all to thank everyone who participated in this video. Appreciate these guys, man. Um, this is something we're going to do a lot. It's something that we love doing, getting everybody involved from different parts of 6F and everybody having a good time. I hope y'all had a great time, man, learning about each other.